I hear, uh, Stephen, uh, the joke with Dan and I when we meet Stephen was always, what's currently your biggest concern? And you was like, super volcanoes. That, oh, that's so old. <laughs> what, what right now is your main, like, what, what's the... What's Plastic the, bottles. Plastic bottles. <laughs> that's the main thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just terrified now. My biggest fear now... Did you ever watch that Doomsday more, Prepper show? You're more worried about plastic bottles and super volcanoes? Uh, yes. Really? Did you guys, plastic bottles are pretty immediate, I would say. Did really? you think they're immediate? hear that Tom Selleck was stealing water to water his avocado orchards? Stealing it from who? From the city... No, the county of Ventura. He's, he's, That's where I hail he from. He stole water? Yeah, he hired people to uh, collect water, and then they brought it I, to I his... I read about that. That's some fucked up shit, man. I'd imagine they're watering his mustache, though, you know? <laughs> does he sell avocados, or does he just he love eating like them? He owns, like, an orchard or a farm or something, he yeah. He loves guacamole. He, makes, he, makes, he has these parties where he's like... <laughs> if, if you haven't had Tom Sell's guacamole, <laughs> you, you have not had guacamole. <laughs> I'll tell, you, I'll tell you my big panic. It's not water bottles, although it sounds like I need to learn more about the immediacy of that. My, my new thing is, like, I, I just, it's just economic collapse. It's just the idea that everything is based on this, like, fake uh, idea that something's worth something compared to something else. And that if the if the American dollar was worth a dollar on Monday and then was worth 70 cents on Tuesday... The six hours from then, like, there would be fires on the horizon like Blade Runner. And then six hours from that, cops would stop showing up for work. Because they'd be like, "That's uh, it shit's on fire. And, like, I, I'm going to go home and protect my family with my gun from work. Uh, and, and, like, it would just... Th- th- that's, I mean, before I worry about something as cool as a super vo- volcano, <laughs> I actually... Which is very cool. A cool thing to worry about. Everybody read about super volcanoes. Because I don't want to... Dis, you're concerned about super volcanoes. They are a great way for humanity to be exterminated. You were the first one to lay this yeah. out. You, you were very, about five years ago, you were very concerned about this, the super volcano under Yosemite. Uh, and now, not so much. Yeah, I. I, I, I uh, but, but I would agree with you. Like, the economic problem is. I want to build a big bomb shelter underground and just. To have water and Did shotguns that, and that, dogs. Like, the 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 <laughs> <laughs> just just water and dogs. Uh, <laughs> then, then, then everything else will be okay. Yeah, because I think you can milk dogs and live off of them. <laughs> I'll have and ca- feed the water. Uh, I mean, I'll have mice for the dogs think, to eat. I, I think if, if if you could milk dogs, we would already have done that. <laughs> if you could get a dog to milk another dog, we would have done that. But if you if you teach them to fish. We really fuck dogs up. We fuck dogs up. And we're, we're close to the ideal, ideal and idealized economic metaphor. Like, we, we're starting out of, like, we live on a desert island, and you get two coconuts, and I catch one fish, and we'll... Uh, yeah. Uh, no, we're all fucked up. But now, but now that we've moved into, like, dog water milking systems... <laughs> uh, you ever see, when you see a schnauzer... That's that's a dog. That's a regular dog whose limbs have been bred to be like little flippers. But I do want to return to what you were saying. Up. Like the, the the economic concern, which I will what I would summarize as going the problem being that even though everybody here we're all capitalists, right? Capitalism, yeah. yeah. Woo! Yeah. Capitalism. Oh, boo! Also correct. Um, <laughs> But but almost the, the, the same the, now because well, but, but the weird thing any is like, anarcho-syndic- anarcho-syndicalists out there. <laughs> but even even the Two hard people. people who self-identify as capitalism, you gotta go. Like, what is capitalism? Is the understanding that capital plus labor equals wealth? No. Like, well, no, it is. Like it's that's that's capital. It's like that when like workers create wealth, wealth is accumulated. That becomes capital. Land is capital. If I own a piece of land, that's capital. But I can't make it productive without workers. Workers create wealth, but capitalists own all the wealth. So, exactly. Surplus. Wait, so I don't want to miss this point. I'm too stupid. Take me through this well, like actually, a children's book. Like, like the uh, capital is the unpaid portion of labor. Uh, if, Surplus if, if, is the unpur- uh, uh, unpaid if, if portion. If everybody got, got paid for what their work, their work was actually There would worth, be no profit. If, there would be no capital. Right, capital is, right. Is the part that you don't pay your laborers. So th- to the extent that we don't pay our workers, that's capital. Well, so, that's, that's profit. 
I own something, I have property rights, I own it. Now my ownership of it does not allow it to become productive. I apply labor to it. I pay the labor something less than I sell it for. Right. The gap is my profit, which exactly. then I which feed back it. into my additional capital. So I become richer and richer, but then I also push forward the story, which is that basically, oh, money and wealth is a function of owning and being rich, rather than no money is created by people who work. Yeah. It's just that simple, and yet you don't really quite hear people go like, oh, well, all these rich people, like, uh, you don't want to take their value or their, their wealth. It's like, well, it is their wealth because they own the means of production, but it's not like they made it. The people who made it, made it. Yep. <laughs> I think we could. I think we could make this a little clearer for the common man, even though I understand it. If I do it as a rap, yo, 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 capitalism, yo, it's forming a schism between the rich and the poor. It's like jism. Starting over. <laughs> Yo, I fucked your mama. I fucked your mama. I fucked your mama so hard it hurt. I fucked your mama like my name was John Hurt. It's the same word. Sorry. Start, starting over. Yo, yo. A dollar's worth this, a dollar's worth that. I fucked your mama until she was blind as a bat. Flying around using sonar. I fucked your mama. I got a bonar. I, I put it inside her. And she was like, that's quieter. No, starting over, starting over. Oh, you were doing a surplus value. Yo, what's up with that shirt? Yo. Are you going to work? Yo, what's up with your hair? Yo, don't take the stairs. Starting over. Didn't work in the crowd, didn't work either. There you go. Yo, gas, yo. Gas, 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 capital. capital. Rap, rap, rapidly rap. Rapidalism. I'm going to have a rap attack. I'm, I'm going to rap good. I'm going to rap good. I'm going to rap good, and I'm rapping real good. Just starting over, starting over. There are seven wonders of the world. This rapping is, is about to be worth it. Yo, I went out to the street. I needed some bread and I got some meat. I was on a protein diet, so I had the latter. I fucked your mama like she was pancake batter. I poured her pussy into a pan. I fucked her as hard as I can, but it wasn't hard enough, so I got a new job sucking your dad's knob. I love your dad now. I love your dad now. Progressive. I love your dad now. Progressive. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Love your dad now. Your dad made love to me. Oh, he shit. fucked him so hard that I broke my knee. Oh, shit. Don't fucking try to stop me. You try to shut me down. No, no. Just Power getting on a roll. Yo, yo, yo. I met your dad in the fall of 72. I, I fucked him so hard I lost one of my shoes. I was like, where, where did it go? He said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy that's mad at the back now. All right. 911. All right, that didn't work. You can't force it. You can't force it. No, no, you can't. No, you, you, I, th well. I think we learned a lot about the nature of capitalism. The, the, the... I, f I hope so. I think, you know, there's 500 people here. Certainly and I thought, no one is going to leave Even here if you force that. it.
for those of you who are only listening, Dan was presented by uh, a hilarious gentleman with a Bloody Mary with uh, everything on top of it. <laughs> well, did the... A, 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 a BLT on it? Did, uh, the, did, a, a did, the, did the people at Tin Roof make this, or was this assembled I by... I don't know. Also, I wouldn't drink it. I think it, it was it. phoned in from Alaska. <laughs> N- Nikki and Nicole made this out of... Uh, you guys. Thank you. Nikki and Nicole. Nikki or Nicole? Wait, so they, do they work here or not? May I get a Fernet Bronca by any chance? Have you got Fernet Bronca back there? Okay. Upstairs? What, 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 what's their name upstairs? Upstairs, can I get a Fernet Bronca? Can we make a human, we can make a, a human chain and get me a Fernet so Bronca. So you're still on the Fernet? I, like, I wondered if you'd moved on from that. This motherfucker's eating a cheeseburger. How is it? This is the best Bloody Murray I've ever had in my life. <laughs> 